stocks down nearly 7% after US FDA has sent a strongly worded warning letter to the company, giving details, um, you know, at least on three of its plans. Sain Mukherjee, the pharma analyst at Nomura, joins us on the phone line. Hi, Sain. Afternoon. How much of this news about this US FDA's warning letter to three of its plants is already priced in? And how do you expect the stock to perform, say, in the next 12 months now? Hey, good afternoon. Uh, I think uh, the w observations which we see in the warning letter is something which is already known. Uh, the inspections happened sometime between November of last year till February in three of their facilities. Uh, so the warning letters carry the same observations uh, as they were in the 483. So there's nothing new as far as uh, you know the the warning letter is concerned. Uh, we think uh, you know we, we are looking at it uh, slightly more positively, uh, as you would expect any warning letter to be quite harsh in terms of its uh, wordings. Uh, but the fact is that uh, uh, you know they have not received an import alert is a positive, uh, because what we have seen in the last uh, few years is that companies have received an import alert uh, uh, even before uh, they have got the warning letter. Uh, so I think Dr. Reddy had a, had a close shave, and therefore we see a low possibility of the situation uh, escalating into an import alert. Uh, though, you know, the resolution would take time. We think it would take more than 12 months, and this could have some negative impact on uh, new approvals. Okay. But if the warning letter indeed were to come, Sion, your uh, view would change? Yeah, I mean, the warning letter is already there. No, I mean, so if the import alert were to come. Yeah, if warning letter were to escalate into an import alert, uh, surely this would, uh, you know, have a significant impact. And that's where I think uh, we are kind of having a slightly different view here. Our, our sense is that uh, it, it would not escalate into an import alert based on what we have read in the warning letter and what we have seen happening with some of the other companies. But what? still three of the plants are dysfunctional. So would, no, would you not want to lower your revenue and earnings estimates for this and the next year? So the three plants are still functional. It's just that the new approvals from these three plants may get delayed. What is not known to us is how many of their pending products are associated with these three facilities. Uh, what we understand is, uh, you know, given most of the issues are with API plants, there could be opportunities to do site transfers, which uh, Dr. Reddy Management has talked about. And also there are uh, various approvals, uh, you know, which are outside of these impacted facility. Uh, we must note that the largest uh, formulation facility is not part of it. So therefore, uh, I think they would still get a new approval. And what matters is you get those large, chunky approvals. Uh, you know, the smaller approvals, even if they don't come through, will not have a material impact. So, you know, there is a downside risk uh, to estimates for sure, but I don't think it is, uh, you know, as material as is, you know, uh, currently the stock price is uh, implying. Does that mean you would recommend a buy at current levels? Yeah, we would recommend a buy from a one-year perspective okay. uh, on the assumption that we won't see an import alert. And 12 months down the line, we would have uh, product approvals, which could give support to earnings. Okay. Uh, our uh, um, uh, researcher who tracks pharma companies closely is also with us. Ekta, uh, go ahead. You have some questions? Yes. Uh, Sain, I wanted to ask you about the custom QC lab, uh, which was undiscovered before by the US FDA and was discovered during the inspection. Would that qualify as data integrity? Uh, you know, uh, the, again, the CQC lab issue, uh, which was discovered, again, is part of the Form 483, which was issued in November of last year. So it's almost a one-year-old issue. And as I mentioned, uh, you know, the data integrity is a very subjective term. And what we uh, saw in warning letter of Dr. Reddy's is there's no mention of data integrity. Now, if you look at all the other warning letters which has led to or, or linked to import alert, for instance, Walkhard uh, and Sun Pharma's Karkari facility, uh, there is explicit mention of data integrity in the warning letter. So uh, we didn't find anything of that sort. So there is a data management issue for sure, uh, and that's what FDA has pointed out. But does that necessarily mean, uh, you know, uh, there is an integrity issue? Uh, I don't think FDA has hinted that in their warning letter. Okay, just a quick last question then. Can we see other regulatory authorities become more stringent on these three facilities? Say, say the UK MHRA, like we've seen, uh, say, with uh, what happened with Walkhart? 
Yeah, that's uh, always a possibility. I think regulators do interact and do share notes. So to that extent, uh, this would be in notice with other regulators as well when they come down for uh, inspection. But as we have seen in other companies, they can actually take a very different view of the situation. Okay, Asayan, what is your current earnings forecast for the current year and next year uh, uh, at Dr. Reddy's? And have you lowered any of the numbers? No, we haven't. Uh, we haven't yet uh, lowered our estimates for simple reason that you know, as things stand today, the business continues, and we do expect new product approval. So we are uh, having an EPS estimate of 180 rupees for fiscal 17 and 157 rupees for this fiscal year. All right. Uh, leave it at that. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Sayed Mukherjee, for joining us uh, with your thoughts. Okay, that's uh, uh, the word on Dr. Reddy's. Uh, uh, we have a guest joining us now, Samir Gupta, the managing director.